In this video, you'll learn exactly how to create a custom leaderboard feature in Bubble, all without writing a single line of code. In our example today, we'll start by creating a scoring system in a social app that awards points based on user engagement. So let's say if a user leaves a like on a post, they'll receive some points. If they leave a comment, they'll receive even more points. And of course, if they create a post, they'll receive even more points beyond that. Then once we've built out our scoring system, we're going to take the time to design a custom leaderboard that ranks all of our users by the total number of points that they have. Now look, by this point, I've already said enough. I'm going to hand this one over to Luca, and he's going to walk through everything you need to know. Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over how to create leaderboards within your Bubble application. Now what leaderboards do is just adds a nice gamification feature that really drives engagement for your users and makes your app a little bit more fun to use. You've got things like Duolingo that have done it really, really well and they've built their whole business on the gamification of their actual application. And Duolingo is not necessarily the best language learning app, but it is the biggest. So you can see how well this kind of gamification works for increasing the amount of users that you're generating. So as you can see here, I've got a list of users with their points and we've got our leading user bill and they've got a little trophy to tell them that they are the number one on the leaderboard. Now, if we just reset all of this, the application that I've thrown together is actually a social media type application. and You get points by doing certain actions within the application. So if you like, you'll get 10 points. If you comment, you'll get 30 points. And if you post, you'll get 50 points. And so that's how we're keeping score. So let's jump into our application to show you how we have done this. So if we go here, under users, we have a field type, which is called points, and the actual data type is number. So if we go back and recreate this, this is going to be those points that we've just seen on the leaderboard. So we're just going to do points and number under the data type of user. Now I've set up the workflows to create posts and comments and stuff like this but we're just going to focus on the leaderboard element for this video. So now we've set that up, what we can now do is go into our application. If we go to the design tab, you can see that we are creating a repeating group, which has all the users on our application. And we are just getting all of them by doing a search for users descending yes because if we click descending yes it will sort the user with the highest points to be number one on the list and so we're searching and we're sorting by points i've had to re-add that because i deleted it and added it again so we're just searching the user by points now this will mean that it will have the user with the most points here and the least all the way at the bottom perfect now, I've just put an account circle, their name and their points under here, but we're going to have to go through and re-add the current user's points because we've just added it again in the database. So how we actually have this showing up for just the person with the most points is that we've gone onto the layout tab for this icon and we've unchecked make this element visible on page loan, which means that it will need a condition to show up. And I've just left collapse when hidden blank because I just still wanted to fit the same space so all of the other rows for the other users will look the same. And the condition that we're using to allow this to be shown up is that when the current sales index is one, also what number it is in the list is number one, then this icon is shown up here. And so how we're actually creating the points here is if we go to the index page, we've actually got a number of different actions we can do so we can create a post we can like and we can comment and so if we zoom in to these workflows let's update our current user when they do these actions so that they are adding on to the points that they've got and so the first thing we're going to do is set up like so if we click on to our button here go to the appearance tab and we edit the workflow this button actually adds the current user to the list of liking users 
for that particular post. And so here, this is for liking and this is for unliking. So you can see we're removing the user there. And here we are actually adding the current user. And so what we're gonna do, whenever a user likes a post, we're gonna make changes to the current user and we're gonna update their points. And we're actually gonna keep the current user's points the same, but we're then just gonna add 10 points to that. If we were just to put 10 in this box, then it would just set the current user's points to 10. And obviously that's not additive, so it doesn't really help our gamification feature. And so we're just gonna do the current user's points plus 10, so if they had 50, it would go to 60. If they had 70, it would go to 80. Now, to save ourselves some time, we're gonna copy this action here by right-clicking and clicking Copy. Now, the second thing we're gonna do is we are going to update when our users are commenting. So I've just got a little pop-up created that they just write the comment and then click Comment. And so we're gonna click this button we're going to go in and we're going to copy our action in here and we're going to update the amount of points they get to 30. And so as you can see, this is where you can start incentivizing actions that you want your users to prioritize within your application. So if you want more posts, you reward posts more highly like we're going to do now. And so if we go here, let's go over to our create a post tab we click this button, which sends us to the create a post page, and then they'll fill this out, and then it will create posts using this button. So let's paste our action in again, and update that to 50. Now we're gonna to wanna to move this to before we get sent to the previous page, because we still want that action to run, and so we're gonna leave that here. And so now from a action standpoint, we're all set up, but let's go into our app data and fill out some points for our users. So Sandra can have a hundred points. Bill can have 70 points. We'll add 20 points to Sarah and then for Phil, Let's go in and do 40 points. Perfect. So now, if we actually go into our index page here and let's run as Bill, you can see these are all the posts that we've got in here. And if we go to the leaderboard, you can see that currently Sandra is winning. But if we were to, for example, like this post, and let's leave a comment for this one. Click comment. And let's even create a post ourselves. And click share. And we go to our points. You can see that now, after all those actions, I am now winning in our leaderboard. And so I hope this tutorial has been fun to follow. And I hope you install some of this in your applications to increase your users engagement and really drive some growth with gamification. And just like that, you now know how to create your own custom leaderboard feature directly inside of Bubble. As Luca mentioned, leaderboards are a fantastic way to help drive user engagement and growth within your app. So I'm sure this is gonna be a great feature that you can implement when you start onboarding your first users. Now look, if you ever wanted to stay up to date with any additional Bubble resources I share, I'd always recommend hitting that subscribe button on my channel, so that way you can be the first to know whenever I drop a new video. For now though, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial, and I wish you all of the best on your own no-code journey.